everybody what's up welcome back to another video within the generative ai tool series and in this video we'll continue to talk about code straw which is like the talk of the town these days so yeah in one of the previous videos uh, we've talked about what code straw is uh, what are the key features that distinguishes code straw from its competition uh, what to expect from this model and how it sort of affects or helps a developer within the workflow while being the first ever code model released. So I'm going to hook that video in the cards above. Uh, it's one of the previous videos within this playlist. It will help you gain more context. And another follow up of that video was more in terms of how you can integrate code straw within VS Code uh, within your developer workflow and how you can just get started with it and get up and running with it and start using it within your code. So I'm going to hook that video right now within the cards above. So uh, if you're interested to learn a bit more about CodeStraw, you're welcome to go ahead and watch these videos. All right. So in this video, we're probably continue to talk about how we can effectively use CodeStraw within our uh, developer workspace. So here I am within the CodeStraw's uh, web page, the introductory web page. So I wanted to bring your attention to this section, which happens to be use CodeStraw, why it's dedicated endpoint. So you'll have to log into Mistral AI and uh, let me do that for you. Right, so this is the dashboard and here you can see CodeStraw. So I was lucky enough to get hands on the uh, uh, API keys the day it was released. Probably you'll have to uh, sign up for it uh, within Mistral AI and then you'll probably have to join the wait list and you'll get hands to CodeStraw in a day or two. Uh, I don't know how things are right now uh, in terms of their services. Maybe it can take you a week. But yeah, that's what it is. Uh, all right, so once you're done, obviously uh, once you get hands on the API key, you can integrate it within the uh, Visual Studio uh, by using continue.dev, something that we have done in the previous video. And let me show it to you. Here we are using CodeStraw. And this is the whole experience that continue.dev provides you. So it's a great uh, VS Code extension. But the problem is uh, with these API keys. Um, so here's, here's that one line which sort of had been bugging me, um, that it's free during a beta period of eight weeks. So you have eight weeks. I don't know what's going to happen after eight weeks. Probably it won't be free or there might be some sort of a pricing aspect. Although the Mistral models are open source and you can find them on Hugging Face and Olama. So that's a relief. So you can still use it for free within your uh, VS Code workflow instead of relying on a, on an API key. So that's what this video is about and that's how it's going to help you. So, uh, so if you just... So what you can do is you can download this model, uh, CodeStraw, uh, the 22B model, in a quantized form within Hugging Face or Olama, which are like free model providers. So uh, if you aren't accustomed with Olama, so let me go ahead and talk it through it. So you'll find, as it says, get up and running with uh, large language models, run Llama 3, which also happens to be open source, Mistral and Gamma by Google, and you'll find a lot of models here. So let's go ahead and search CodeStraw. So here we are, and luckily here we are, 22B, CodeStraw is Mistral AI's first ever code model designed for code generation task, perfect. So quantize to q 4 which is fine, uh, 13 GB to be exact. So here we have almost the same details that are listed within the web page. So firstly, make sure that you have Olama installed. And once you do, uh, Olama has a nice CLI, which you can use. So what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, you can look into the commands, but for this one, if you need a particular model, all you need to do is 
Olama pull code stroll. So, and that's it. And once you go ahead, hit enter, it's going to start downloading. So let's go ahead and do that. One hour later. All right, so it's installed. Let's go ahead over here. So we need Olama as our provider. Make sure it's running. Uh, so I have it running over here. So here you can see Olama open source, one of the fastest ways to get started with the local models. Perfect. So here we go. And here we have a few so uh, 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 uh. so let's detect auto detect and this is quote straw latest mistral custom model context line 32 okay so here we have olama so this was the code straw which we were using previously, which we sort of set up previously within our previous video. But here we have all the models available within Olama. So I'm going to choose Olama code straw latest, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and use a particular file. Let's open a repository. I'm going to say code straw test. And here I have a fast API route. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this all out. Hit save. Go back to continue.dev and I think, okay, so here we have Olama and let's start our conversation. Write me a amazing fast API template. All right, so here we are, and let's put in the code over here. Perfect. So that's how you can simply uh, leverage Olama to basically. Uh, run code straw uh, locally on your machine but obviously this is going to be hardware uh, intensive and make sure that you only do that if you have a good hardware uh, within your machine because uh, obviously you can look into some of the uh, stats around which hardware is best suitable for which model or you should have a decent gpu to actually run this otherwise it's going to be slow as hell uh, so yeah, that's it for this video and I'm going to see you in the next one.